Well, hi, hello my friends, it's Nina. Happy back to school season. You probably have been in school for quite a while. Maybe it's been a few weeks, maybe you still haven't started. I remember the good old days back in my youth when I went to school. I remember my college days. I was so young. And then I graduated from college two years ago. <laughs> it's only been two years since I graduated? That doesn't sound right. No, it's been two years. It's only been two years. Anyway, I'm sure that you are probably back to school shopping or you have already done it. But if you haven't yet, you're probably planning to. I hope. Back to school season just reminds me of almost autumn weather. It is not quite autumn, it is still very hot, at least where I'm from. The weather might be different for you, but where I am, we don't get winter until probably late November. It's constantly hot. Anyway, I'm going to show you a little thrift haul and maybe give some tips on how I kind of dressed up for college, how I style my outfits, and hopefully it's a good time. And also shout out to ThreadUp who is the sponsor of this video. I enjoy shopping from ThreadUp. They have a lot of choices for secondhand clothing. I feel like it'll be a good place for you to go back to school shopping. In my haul that I have next to me, I got each piece for under $15. I think that's quite the seal, especially for back to school season, for thrift shopping, for buying secondhand clothing. Everything arrived fast and in good condition, and it all came in ThirdUp's cute packaging. I've gotten to partner up with ThirdUp many times on my channel, but if you don't know what ThirdUp is, they are an online thrift store with over 40,000 brands with new arrivals every day, and you can shop high quality clothing, shoes, accessories, handbags, all for up to 90% off estimated retail. Shopping secondhand is great for the environment and also helps keep items out of the landfill. They have a lot of brands that you might know such as Zara, Aritzia, Nike, Urban Outfitters. I think it's a great choice for back to school season and you'll be able to find a lot of stuff for under $15 so you'll have quite some fun looking through there. And I also do have a special promo thanks to ThirdUp. So if you use the link in my description you'll be sent to the back to school shop and you'll be able to shop in trending categories, different brands that you might know, and then you can find stuff for under $15 as well. You'll be able to get more and spend less for the back to school season and also give clothes a second in life. So if you do end up getting stuff, let me know in the comments. You can also let me know your favorite pieces to wear, what you're looking for, anything like that. And also, on top of that, if you use my code NINA with my link, you'll get 30% off of your first order from ThreadUp. So make sure to use my link and my code. Happy back to school shopping and let's get into the haul. So even though I'm not going back to school, I am still going outside. <laughs> so I would like to look put together and dress up a bit as well. So I got a good variety of stuff. Hopefully this can inspire what you want to shop for for your outfits. Or maybe you have items like these already and you can just pull them out of your closet, put them into your outfits. Hopefully there's a little bit of outfit inspiration somewhere in this video. But I guess the first item that I can talk about is the top that I'm wearing right now. I actually got this from ThoughtUp. Let me just get up. Uh, Okay, it's a short sleeve cardigan. It has two buttons and it just kind of opens up here. There's no buttons. I think that's pretty unique, very cute. It has this nice thick sweater material. And under, I'm just wearing a camisole. These are some white cargo pants. This was originally from the brand American Eagle Outfitters for an estimated retail price of $50. And I got it for $13.99. I am a big fan of short sleeve cardigans. They just look put together. You literally just throw this on with a pair of pants and you're good to go. And then I just put on a delicate necklace. This is just my necklace that I made. And then I like to put my hair up and it's just a nice transition from summer to fall. If I just don't wanna wear a simple t-shirt with my pants, I just like to put on a short sleeve cardigan. I guess I'll go into another sweater. I got this cute blue sweater. This was also originally from American Eagle Outfitters. It has this nice fun retro stripe along the middle. I feel like a nice pair of wide leg pants or cargo pants would go great with this. This definitely just makes you look like a studious Student. There are plenty of sweater tops like this on ThirdUp. This is a nice sort of short fit as well. You can easily tuck these into your pants. It had an estimated retail price of $50 and I got it for $11.99. It's just a fun sweater. Can't go wrong. Next, I will go into, I guess, some t-shirts that I have. I love thrifting t-shirts. So I will show you one that I got. It is this nice black t-shirt with a graphic on it. I love the colors. I love how bold it is. And I was happy to find a black t-shirt as well. Graphic t-shirts are very easy to dress up. You can tuck these into some pants. You can wear a skirt. You can wear it under some overalls. I just love finding a good t-shirt that I can wear in 20 different outfits. And then you can also wear some chain necklaces, layers and necklaces, chokers, really play around with the accessories. My favorite part of outfits is just accessories. I'm a pretty simple person. I'll just have a lot of basics and then pile stuff on top of it. But this was originally from Zara. Its estimated retail price was $10 and I got it for $6.99 on ThreadUp. Definitely a good choice, especially especially for warmer weather. You can't go wrong with a t-shirt. And then I got another t-shirt, but this is a little more simple. It's kind of like a faded wash. So it makes the shirt look a little vintage, a little like it had a very busy life before. It says Beverly Boulevard, 1978. I wasn't 
alive back then. I was not born. I was, I didn't even exist. Anywho, I love that it's sort of on the pocket area. I think that's kind of quirky. <laughs> Quirky. And again, same thing, you can tuck these into some pants. This shirt is a light material. I feel like you can just tie it and then you can wear it with a nice white midi skirt, maxi skirt to kind of contrast the style a little bit. I love wearing a casual t-shirt with a nice midi skirt, maxi skirt, kind of to make the outfit a little more put together, but at the same time, kind of casual. So you can wear it for any occasion. So this shirt is also originally from Zara. It's estimated retail price was $10 and I got it for $8.99. I just really love t-shirts. And then next I have this button up shirt but i love the blue and white stripes i think it's very classic and i also love the gold buttons i feel like this would pair well with some gold jewelry you can play around with the accents of a top i think also while i'm at it i might talk about some other things that i got i did get some accessories from thread up you can also find accessories on there i got a couple purses are these really ideal for back school probably not you can't fit notebooks here but i got it for myself i guess i'll talk about this so i got this nice tan satchel. It is very cute. I don't really have bags with this sort of shape. It just stands on your desk. This was originally from the brand Violet Ray. This actually had an estimated retail price of $74, but I got it for $13.99 on Threadup. Very, very happy about this find. And then along with that, I got one more purse. You will be able to find backpacks, tote bags, bigger bags on Threadup. So if you want to find an accessory for school, you'll be able to find it. But I got a white satchel, lots of compartments. This the satchel was originally from Forever 21 with an estimated retail price of $28 and on ThreadUp I got it for $13.99. So be on the lookout for backpacks, bags, tote bags, anything you need for school. Anyway, back to the top. This can be good for casual situations, more formal situations, maybe like an interview or something. But for button ups, I like to wear them alone just as they are. A nice pair of white pants, some kind of skirt. The options are limitless. I feel like with this you can also tuck it into your pants and then put on a sweater vest over over. Button ups are perfect for sweater vests. This is just a nice, basic, simple piece to have so you can play around with it. And this was actually also from Zara. Something I like to do on ThreadUp is go through the brands that they have, look through whatever they have, put on specific filters such as size, color, material, even pattern, stripes. But sorting through specific brands is also a tip that I have. It had an estimated retail price of $36 and I got it for $14.99 on ThreadUp. It's a good shirt. Next for the tops, I will talk about some flannel shirts that I got. I love flannel shirts. When I go thrifting, I also like looking for flannel shirts. They're just very versatile. So I got this cute green flannel shirt. The material is very nice, very soft, very lightweight. This was originally from American Eagle Outfitters. Its estimated retail price was $50 and I got it for $11.99. And again, the styling options are limitless. So I like to wear a tank top, a camisole, and then I'll wear a nice high-rise skirt, high-rise pants, and this is just nice to wear on top of all that. It looks like a picnic blanket when I fold it like this. And honestly, if you catch yourself wanting to sit out on the grass and you're not wearing this because the weather is so freaking hot, you can just lay this out and sit on it. Also a hack. <laughs> oh my god, that was barely a sneeze. <laughs> anyway. I got another flannel. This is a nice red blue color. This was originally from the brand Topshop. It had an estimated retail price of $52 and I got it for $13.99. I love how light it is. And again, you can style it the same way as I mentioned. So that is it for my tops. I think I will go into a dress that I got. I love getting dresses and I found this cute dress. It is a floral print. I haven't gotten floral prints in a while. Dresses are just easy to put on. They're comfortable, flowy. But my favorite way to style them is with a t-shirt under. I have some long sleeves with nice colors, even a turtleneck. And you could put necklaces on top. So basically, I like to wear layers. To make an outfit more casual, I like to throw on an oversized hoodie. Oversized hoodies are like my security blanket. This also only applies if the weather's not too hot outside. Or if you have a class late at night, that works too. Very cute. And then if you do want to look put together, a nice cardigan. And then you can take off the t-shirt under, do whatever you want. I just think it's kind of cute when I have layers like this. You can easily change a piece by the way that you tuck it, fold it, wear it, maybe like off the shoulders instead of fully on like I do with flannels. Fold your cardigan if it's too long. So it's kind of like a cropped look. And now it looks like you're wearing just a simple skirt.
variety. So this dress is originally from the brand Kimchi Blue. It had an estimated retail price of $60 and I got it for $12.99. And then now I am moving on to the bottoms. I guess I will go into this denim skirt that I got. It is just a simple skirt that goes on your waist. It has button detail all the way down. But with this skirt, this is how you unbutton it and then you button it together again. Now I have to rebutton it. Took me a long time to button this. I love the shape, I love the black color, but this would also go great with sweaters. This definitely reminds me of fall outfits. A nice sweater, slightly tucked with this. This is from the brand BDG. With an estimated retail price of $36, I got it on Threadup for $13.99. Again, every piece from here was each under $15. And then I got one more skirt. This is a sort of pencil skirt, actually. I don't own a lot of pencil skirts. I thought this was very business-like, business business formal, business casual. This would definitely go great with sweaters kind of tucked in. This just reminded me of the fall. It reminded me of college and I'm a fan of long skirts. So this was also originally from Zara. Its estimated retail price was $40 and I got it for $13.99. But I want to get a few more formal pieces for my wardrobe. So I got this. Definitely would be a good pair. Accessories are fun. And then here is the final piece in this haul. I don't have pants like this and it is this pair of flare pants. I think they're also known as bell bottoms. It has a very retro look. I love the way they fit on me. Then they're surprisingly also very comfortable. Oh shoot, I'm also running out of battery. I just realized you could see my... <sighs> Can I actually show you what that is? I have these little BTS cutouts. I have the rest of the members, but for some reason they were just peeking right there. <laughs> anyway, that's what that was. But I will finally talk about my last piece. It is these flare bell bottom pants. Nice and long. They fit me well. The material's nice and kind of stretchy. I don't really have a pair of flare pants or bell bottom pants. So this was also from American Eagle. I didn't really branch out with the brands. There's a lot of brands though. Its estimated retail price was $45 and I got it for $14.99 on ThreadUp. This was everything that I got. I hope this inspired you a little with your back to school shopping plans or maybe you got some style tips or ideas from this as well. Thank you again to ThreadUp for partnering with me on this video. Don't forget to use my link in the description for the back to school shop on ThreadUp. You can shop for trendy pieces, styles, brands, all for under $15. And if you use my code Nina, you will also get 30% off of your first order from ThreadUp. Have fun with your style, especially because some of you may be going back to school in person, in real life. I was lucky enough to go to school in real life, so it was fun to play around with outfits as well. And if you're not in school, like me, <laughs> it's also just nice to have fun with your style wherever you go. Maybe if it's even to the grocery store to run errands, go on dates, whatever the young people do these days. <laughs> but I wish you a good back to school, a good school year, a good rest of the year in general. But that is it for this video and I will see you in my next one. Let's bring it in for a hug. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye my friends.